All right, guys, we just got done with this one. Brand new property. Uh, probably talk to him about flower beds. We had no agreement for the flower beds this time, but we edged it up. Cleaned it up pretty nicely. Little small yard. Well, looks like it's been the first time it's been cut. So, looks pretty good. That's my guy. That was a new property, and we are moving on. Good job, man. All right, guys, this is Sean with the Kings Courtyard Lawn Care Service, and back at my house. And I just want to show you guys a few little upgrades that I've done to my um, mowers real quick. And yes, I know they're dirty. I do got to get them clean, but as you can see, uh, it's just been raining so bad. And uh, yeah, last couple of days we've been fighting rain. And uh, I just want to show you this quick tip if you guys have a Bradley mower. Get this light on over here. There you go. Um, so the, I don't know what I did with those other pins. Oh. So, so these uh, are the pins that come with the Bradley mower for the height adjustment. And I've already, uh, talked about in one of my videos the uh, dislike of how I hate how close this pin is to the muffler when you have to try to put this uh, I think it's called a cotton pin or whatever it's called in there and it's actually on this side or this side so it goes basically like that and then you have to try to take this fan this fan hand and stick it in which it's actually how I got that little boo-boo right there. So, uh, <clears throat> I remembered one of my guys, my subscribers, uh, Paradise Lawn Care, I think his name of it is. I, if it's not correct, I'll try to put it in the description or correct it on the video. But uh, he had these pins on his mowers. And please, guys, go check out his channel. He does uh, comparison videos and some, I think he has some mowing footage. And he has a uh, Ferris. Bobcat and Bradley and maybe some other ones that he does comparison on. Okay, so basically you just take it and uh, you see the magnets down in there. You just take it and you pull it out and you pull it in, pull it out and pull it in. So wherever you want to go, boom, boom. Um, I did notice a problem when I wanted to put it here. It's right above the muffler and it will actually touch the muffler. But I don't never cut at one and one and a half. That's too low for me. The lowest I've ever cut on was I think two, and I don't do that often. So two, I think, has plenty of space. Uh, I don't know if you can see it now, but it's about a about an inch or so. And normally I cut uh, if I'm gonna cut low, I cut it at one and a, maybe one and a half or two and a half or two and three fourths. But as you can see, it's super easy to change. The magnets are pretty strong. But I normally keep it about right there, three, three and a fourth is where I normally cut. And as the same thing over here. Uh, uh, the little tether came with it, and it came with like a little uh, uh, keychain loop. Uh, and I got these from the Dollar Tree, a little whatever they call these things and I just uh, clipped it around here so 
just in case it ever comes out, I won't lose it. But these are really, really strong magnets, pretty strong. And so I don't feel like I'm gonna lose it. Um, and down here, same thing. It will kind of hit the casing a little bit, but I don't think it's enough to make it come out completely. So, And I have to adjust the, I still have to adjust the uh, chains on this because the height is still a little bit lower down there. But um, I'm gonna try to see if I can do that this week or this weekend and um, get it recorded because I have a ton of maintenance to do. Uh, I think I have a, I got a maintenance kit to do on one of my weed eaters. I got to adjust the, uh, uh, let's see, got to adjust the edger because it's not straight the handle. You see the handle is upside down. So I got to adjust it and make it right, put it on correctly. Um, I have to order, I think I'm going to order a Darwin grip for my guy. So uh, he won't be bending over when he's trying to weed eat. And what else? I got a, got a few little ins and odds that um, I'm going to be trying out uh, pretty soon. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. Um, today, I want to talk to you guys real quick because I haven't had a chance to get back with you guys about this uh, blade grinder that I purchased um, last year, I guess. Here it is. Okay guys, so this is the setup. Um, little, got, got geese in the background. For the longest time, I did not know how to use this blade grinder. And uh, let's get a zoom in a little bit. And um, it was very hard for me to figure out how to use it. So um, it was actually an accident on how I really figured out how to adjust it. And so I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, how I do it so if you guys see these two knobs right here you loosen these knobs up I'll just show you loosen these two knobs up and this whole thing will slide one way or the other this particular oh and also it has another hole there and I think that's it it has three holes so you can adjust it well uh, when I first got it, I had one hole, one of the screws here and one of the screws here. And so I, the farthest I could go was about right there. And so I was thinking that I had to grind from there when actually, um, if you try to do it from there, you're hanging way over and the blade has a tendency of tilting in like that. But if you get it close as you can, you can get that 30 degree angle that you need. I think that's what the angle is, or whatever it is. You can get the right angle for it. And that still might be a little bit too far, but um, now you got it to where it's perfect. So uh, I'm gonna turn this on and let you guys see it in action. I know you guys probably seen grinding videos, but no, this is the Bradley one. I support Bradley. Um, I wish they would come out with a zero turn, but um, they're a little bit stubborn on that. That's okay. It's their prerogative. All right. And these, uh, I actually bought this plate. Um, this is a separate plate. Usually it has like just a flat plate, which I might switch back to see if there's a difference. But this has the wings on it, so it folds in. Not really sure. What that's all about but uh let's get to it
Perfect. Perfect. So. All right, guys, I got the 52 done, as you can see. Scraping the deck is one of my least favorite jobs. And uh, it's already done that, so I got to put the blades back on there, the gators. And uh, I still, I'm going to check these. I don't think they need to be sharpened. They probably definitely need the blade or the deck uh, uh, scrape, though. But if they do need sharpening, I'll go ahead and sharpen those, too. As you can see, they don't really take no time with these. These were kind of rough because they hadn't really been done in a while. And um, when I, I think the last time I did them, I did them with the angle grinder. So there was like a little bit of waviness in there. Perfect. Perfect.